this keynote, sponsored keynote by QD, um, talking about how Argo is ubiquitous. Um, my name is Christian Hernandez. I'm head of community over at Acuity, um, company founded by uh, one of the creators of the Argo project. I am also an Argo project maintainer, open GitOps maintainer, and uh, if you know me personally, a guitar player. So, um, and uh, I'm joined today by uh, Jacob. So, Jacob, I'll let you introduce yourself. Sure, uh, Jacob Feldman. I lead solutions architecture at CoreWeave, and I'm going to tell you more about what we do and how we use Argo a little later on. Awesome, thank you. So um, I want to talk about, uh, first I want to kind of like talk about kind of what uh, Patik was uh, talking about earlier, how um, Argo is like the third largest project in the CNCF, third largest, uh, fastest growing project in the CNCF. Um, actually, it is, uh, <laughs> it is also uh, the, the fourth largest uh, in the Linux Foundation, for those that you don't know. So it's kind of humbling to know that, so that being part of a project, contributing to a project that is um, also said in the same breath as Kubernetes and the Linux kernel, which is kind of, to me, kind of, uh, kind of amazing. We, we're always heads down working on things, and um, sometimes we fail to step back and to see how much work we've actually done as a community. And um, the fact that Argo is said in the same breath as like open telemetry and Kubernetes, to me, signifies that Argo and Kubernetes are table stakes, meaning that when you're, when you're deploying Kubernetes, um, you're deploying just kind of these workloads just like automatically. It becomes the core part of your infrastructure. So you're installing Prometheus, you're installing OpenTelemetry, you're installing Argo. It kind of just becomes part of that initial installation when you're deploying cloud-native architecture. So, um, which means that um, uh, Argo is pretty much everywhere, right? So whether it's, it's on its on-prem, uh, whether it's in the cloud, it's, it's extremely, extremely flexible, whether you're, no matter what workloads you're running um, or where you're running them, um, it, it becomes kind of like your core part of your uh, infrastructure. So, um, which makes Argo pretty much um, run whether, it, it's, it's always interesting to see Argo being ran in like cruise ships, right? I see I hear stories that running in cruise ships, running on airplanes, running um, in um, you know in data centers, running um, at restaurants, running um, in factories, you know, all, all across um, the uh, uh, you know the entire ecosystem, right? It's always been like kind of like a, a core component. So um, I've been mainly focused on um, delivery, right? GitOps, Argo CD, Argo rollouts. Um, but Argo, as, as you've been, as you're going to hear for the rest of, of this conference, is that um, is uh, Argo is also really big on AI, right? So I uh, decided to invite someone who actually knows more about AI than, than I do. So um, uh, so at this point, I'll, I'll hand it off to Jacob to talk about uh, what uh, Corwee is doing. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, like I said, my name is Jacob Feldman. Uh, I lead solutions architecture for Coreweave. So, we call ourselves an AI hyperscaler, and I know you're all thinking, well, this is not the AI day, this is ArgoCon. Uh, so, w what is it that we do? Well, we've been hugely invested in the Argo uh, ecosystem since, since day one, um, across pretty much the entire stack, and more recently, um, my team in particular built a you know, CI-CD uh, system composed of pretty much all the components, Argo workflows, Argo events, um, and Argo CD deployed through Acuity. Um, and it's been able to provide us a really awesome white glove, kind of out of the box GitOps experience for the customers that are running some of the largest AI workloads on the planet. Um, a big part of what we do is we try to become an extension of our customers' engineering teams. Uh, and so for every one of these clusters, there's you know, lots of services, a complex infrastructure that is there to maintain uh, uh, the GPU compute, maintain the orchestrators, maintain everything else. Um, and every hour that one of these clusters sits idle is tens of thousands of dollars or, or more. Uh, so really, the, the, the idea is that we want to be able to get our customers to production, to training as fast as possible, and any time there's an interruption, we need to know about it, we need to have a quick way uh, of fixing it, and so certainly Argo helps us uh, accomplish all that. Um, so being able to, uh, uh, in, in our CI-CD system, and I have some screenshots here, it's probably a whole other talk to kind of dive into what these screenshots actually mean, uh, is we can provision a single manifest that deploys Argo, sets up OIDC, sets up RBAC, 
back and gives you just a complete experience so that you can go into your GitHub repo and start deploying infrastructure with just a few lines. Um, so one last little thought for the community um, is observability. Uh, observability is huge um, and, and it's becoming more and more important the more complex these systems get. Uh, and, and so I'd love for the, the ecosystem to invest more in observability that reaches all the way down to the hardware and all the way up to the solutions layer. Um, and I've been very excited to see some of the things that Acuity is working on in, in, in this field, but I think there's a lot more that we have to do. The last thing I'll say is uh, our, our CTO and our SVP of engineering will have a, a talk at the uh, keynote tomorrow morning. Uh, so check that out and we'll have a booth. So feel free to stop by, ask questions. We can talk all about it. Yeah the mic here. Um, so just kind of the, to, to close this out real quick, um, being the head of community over at Acuity, we are building a end-to-end uh, -end GetOps um, enterprise solution based on open source tooling, uh, whether it's Argo CD, whether it's car our new open source uh, project Cargo, whether it's um, our value add things like uh, Qvision. Um, come stop, vis visit us at the booth. We'll also be at uh, KubeCon the whole week at uh, booth H9. And um, yeah, come talk to me, come talk to any, any one of us and uh, find out how we're just building um, a platform using open source tooling. So with that, I just wanna say thank you very much for this, listening to this keynote.